to create a new sequence, select File New. ElectroPro software has four tabs, Creation, Configuration, View Graph, and View Sheet. So first, in the Creation window, select Line for the 2D acquisition. Electrodes will be located along the X coordinate. Then press Next. In the X width spacing, you enter the spacing between the electrodes in the field, so 5 meters in that example. And the X width size, this is the number of electrodes, so 48 in that case. It can be 72, 96, or other, depending on your system. The X width offset, this is the position of the first electrode, so 0 meters by default. Let automatic grid validate it for a standard array and click on create grid. Electrodes will be located along X and Y, Y equals 0 by default, and electrode 1 is located in 0 meters, and electrode 48 is located in 235 meters. So first electrode 1, last electrode 48. After that, you can click on Configuration tab. In the Configuration window, we're going first to define the standard sequence and then the row along sequence. So enter first the name for the standard sequence. It will be stored into the unit. Electrode array dipole dipole. 10 channel for the Syscal Pro or 2 channel for the Syscal Junior R1 Plus or R2. So keep 10 in that example. Row for resistivity measurement and timing 500 milliseconds. Quality control parameters, 1 for the quality factor, 3 for the stack min and 6 for the stack max. It means that if the Q value is better than 1%, 3 stacks will be measured. If not, the measurement will run up to 6 stacks. About the voltage requested option, we select 50 millivolt, it means that the unit will inject a VAB value with a max value of 800 volt, defined below, to reach 50 millivolt. In this part, we're going to define the grid of the depth levels. We can see the different spacing that can be programmed and the different levels. So we're going, in that example, define six depth levels for each spacing. Spacing means dipole length. This is used to increase the signal to noise ratio. So in fact, examples, we are going to create six levels, so 1A to A3A and 4A. We keep 10 for the number of channels for the optimization process, and we keep the three options validated by default. Then click on Create Standard Sequence. You will get a window showing information about the seconds, and you can have a view about the estimated acquisition time. Press OK. Save the sequence in, in a computer with a name. You can keep the same name than in a syscall and press save. Then a new button appeared, which is create roll along sequence. So you can click on it and enter the number of electrodes to move. So by default 24, if you use a 48 switching system. Press OK and save the sequence with another name and press save. Information about the roll-along sequence, press OK. And now you can click on View Graph. In the View Graph window, we can visualize the report points of the sequence. The standard sequence and the roll-along sequence. If you want to visualize in the same time the two sequences, validate both. The sequence which is highlighted is put forward in the display. In that case, the row along sequence. You can visualize the different colors corresponding to the different spacing that have been defined previously while the creation of the sequence. In the status bar, you can visualize the estimated investigation depth, the number of measurements, and you can also have a view about the estimated acquisition time to run the sequence. After that, you can click on View Sheet. In the View Sheet window, we can visualize information about the two sequences, standard sequences, and the roll-on sequences. You can visualize the coordinates of the electrodes and the quadruples defined in the sequence. Validate the two sequences to upload the sequences into the unit. Select File Communication Port, USB, and then select File Upload. You will get a message showing the right menu to select in the syscall. Press OK and connect the USB cable between the syscall and the computer and press OK.